Hello, Virgo. So do keep in mind, this is a general reading for a large number of people. When I pray and prepare, I ask that each of you receive at least one message. If you do not, go ahead and listen to your moon and or rising sign. So what we have is your situation, what has happened in the recent past, one to two months, and then we have the future outcome. And that is if you take the angels recommendations, which are here on the bottom. So looking at the bottoms of these decks. So you have been going through something very, very difficult. This is the bottom of that deck. And you have been entirely guided by your intuition. So it's been very burdensome. It's, for many of you, the situation you've been going through, it's, it's left you feeling oppressed. You've been feeling stuck, tired, overwhelmed. You have not been receiving information because what you have for your situation is you have the illumination card. And, you know, illumination is like when the light fills the dark. You know, we can see things. There's clarity. We're no longer feeling like we're in the dark. We have this aha moment. And a lot of times, like, it occurs when we least expect it. So you are going to be having some things change rapidly and unexpectedly. You're going to be getting some information, some news. Things are going to improve. Because the situation that you've been in, a lot of you have just been completely in the dark. You don't know what's going on. You aren't getting information. You're not being updated. You have been having to rely totally on your intuition. And you've been going through this for a number of months. Like they're saying for some of you, five months and longer. So it's been a very long time. So for some of you, it's like a legal battle that you've been going through. You have been very fearful. So there, is, okay, so they're saying that for a large number of you, it actually is a legal battle. So there is a decision that is going to be made. It's a decision in the court system, the legal system. It could be a decision being made like in a government, a large structure, but it is a decision that's being made it, and it is going to be actually made in your favor. You're fearful that it's not because this but surrender fear and at the bottom it says let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions and celebrate a, every baby step forward. So they're saying continue to stay in your state of hopefulness, of having faith that it's going to turn out because it is actually going to turn out in your favor. You just don't realize it yet. Although some of you are going to be starting to find out because some, some information. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. So yeah, you have been feeling imprisoned and stuck by it, but this is message. This is actually written communications coming in and then you have false person and then you have great fortune. So this situation that you have been in, and this is clarification. I was asking them to give me some additional information on your situation. So the situation that you have been in, you should be able to see all those. Okay, they're saying the decision, the decision is being made. Now, some of you, you may be receiving a phone call about that. Uh, for most of you, you're gonna be receiving an actual written communication, letters, correspondence about the decision that's being made. So for those of you, that's a legal battle. You know, you're going head to toe with this person who was in fact lying. There was treachery, lies, deception. There were some shady dealings going on behind your back. And although you've known something was going on, you didn't really know how bad it was. Like you haven't discovered everything that was going on. And for some of you, you're not going to end up discovering all the details. But the legal system, those who are making the decision, they did find out the details. They know how bad things are. They know what's really occurred and to the depth that things have really occurred. And because of that, you are going to be reaping financial rewards for that. So for a number of you, you may be receiving a large settlement. Because if you look at things that cause, you know, damages, you know, loss of life, loss of wages, loss of health, you know, medical malpractice suits, um, there's something that this person did to you. And it is in fact a person, and for some of you it could have been multiple people within an organization. Because of what they did to you, you are going to be reimbursed. You're going to be compensated for that. This great fortune card, that's actually the most positive card in this deck. But it's letting you know that your wishes are going to be coming true. You're going to have wealth and happiness. But you are going to unexpectedly have some unexpected good luck something's unexpectedly turning in your favor because you don't know that and everything that you've seen up to this point has not been so positive has just caused you a lot more concern and worries now this card is the nine of wands it's all about protection but it's about an, an effective defense against an outside attack you see he's putting a scarecrow down he's got all these crows flying around but those crows are not coming down to do any harm to his crops 
you are protected. You will be protected. You will come out the victor. Now, what the angels are recommending that you do, you have destiny at the bottom. It says acknowledge your mission, align with your purpose. You have gifts to share with the world. And you've got these two dolphins. So you have a destined love that is coming in. So they're encouraging you to prepare for that. Get ready for love. Get open for love. Surrender your fear of intimacy so that you are prepared and ready to surrender to passion and you're ready to surrender to your full power in all areas. Now, because they keep saying like the battle's over. So you've got this eight of chalices and this is this woman watching this guy walk away. And this card is, you know, the title of the card is Sad Goodbye. But, you know, it's for you leaving for the unknown, going into uncharted territory, a complete change in direction. But I get the sense it's not love, it's, it's work. So you have the family room, the mature man, and occupation. I was asking, you know, what is it that's that's falling away? What is it that's that's leaving? So you know this card was talking about a false person. For a large number of you, this is a man who was the false person. You know, so this is someone, so for a, most of you, this is a work-related situation. For some of you, it is a work-related situation to health health matters, but it is a work situation that's falling away. Um, the reason that it's falling away, so the family room, but this is, you know, this is also the parlors, part of the house where, you know, you would meet people that you trusted, that you could have confidence, you could confide in them, you could share your secrets with them, share details with them. So this person, it betrayed your trust. They, because you see, you know what, no one is in that room, but they betrayed your trust. They hurt you. Um, they were the ones doing the deceptive things behind your back. So say it's, you know, it's, it's a legal battle. It's some battle going on. So for those of you that, if you've been listening to my reigns for a long time, you know about my military medical retirement that has just taken years. Um, one of my senior leaders, who's a person who's supposed to take care, you know, make sure I'm being taken care of, make sure I'm getting medical care, make sure these things are happening. That person was not doing that. They were doing the opposite. And so the situation you're in is somewhat similar to that, like this person. So maybe it was your supervisor who was doing things behind your back. It could have been a senior leader, but it was someone that you trusted, someone who should have had your back, someone who should have been making sure that you were taken care of but they were doing the opposite and it's in your job in your career and that's what's falling away so that you can move into something new so for some of you you are in fact leaving a career and actually for some of you you have already long since left the career um, and you've started into a new destined career or something that you're meant to be in but there's been this lingering legal battle that's not over but what the angels are encouraging you to do is just to allow that to fall away and to trust that the battle's over because they're saying for some of you, you still think that you have to keep fighting it. They're saying you don't have to keep fighting anymore. No more fighting. The fight is over. The fight is finished. You're going to start to receive communications on that. But the battle, battle's over. So they're saying stay steadfast in your hope because things are changing. Things are going to be completely different in the immediate future. This has all, because for some of you, you're just like worn out, like, oh my gosh, why? Why have I gone through all of this? This, These things were meant to happen to get you to somewhere else. And as bleak as things seem right now, your life is going to be completely different. That's why they're encouraging you to reach for the stars. Things are changing. And again, for some of you, you are going to be receiving for large, well, okay, for most of you. So what they're saying is most of you are actually going to be receiving this communication. Now the things won't physically change. Like maybe you're going to get news of, okay, you won, the decision was made in your favor, you're gonna be receiving a settlement for X amount of dollars. And they're like, oh my gosh, praise God, it's over, I can throw my hanky down, oh, it's done. But the, the financial you know, settlement you won't be receiving, that's when things completely change. That's when most of you are gonna see that it's over and you're able to move forward, you are protected. So you do have some amazing things happening, hang in there, you are at that point where it is going to be changing and thankfully because what many of you are needing at this point is some news and some information like what is going on what is the status of things because since you don't have any information because you are in the dark your wheels are spinning they're encouraging you to continue to be hopeful continue to be positive optimistic 
things are going to work out and you are in the immediate future going to be receiving communications on that. So I look forward to hearing how things are going. Fill with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.